It's all over. Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be my review for Glee Season 5, Episode 13, New Directions. And I'm, I feel like crying right now, guys, because um, this was technically the series finale of Glee. Um, it technically was. Um, it, even though Glee is not over, it's still continuing in New York. This is the end of New Directions. It's the end of the Glee Club era. It's the end of the premise of the whole show. And it's just so sad, honestly. It really is. And I mean, this episode was so amazing. It was by far the best episode of the season. It had everything I could want. And it, it had everything that it needed to have. And it was just, it was a perfect episode. But it was still, it really got me emotional towards the end. I'm going to get to that. But definitely such a great episode. Absolutely loved it. Nothing wrong with it. And just so, so good. I loved every minute of this episode. It was so good. Um, let's just get to it. Um, because I, I, I feel like, I'm sorry guys. I'm crying because I have been with Glee since like forever. Even when Glee was like, I've been with Glee since the beginning. So it really made me emotional in this episode. It really made me emotional at their ending things. Even though, you know, it definitely was just, it was... It was a great episode. That was a great way to end the Glee Club. So the beginning of this episode, um, we see Holly and April. They still have their plan on how to keep the Glee Club running. And their plan, which I knew this was not going to work, they were going to basically do what they did when they lost in sectionals. Get each, get the extracurricular activities to include them. So that's what, they, that's what they're planning on doing. Um... And, um, that's what they plan on doing, so, basically, they try to do this, and, she, you know, they tell Sue all about it, but Sue said it's not gonna work at all, and we did get some great, we also found out that Holly and Sue are going to be in the Amazing Race together, which uh, is gonna be kind of, is pretty funny, um, wondering if we're gonna see them again, maybe in New York or something, we'll have to see, but definitely that, that was kind of funny, I thought, I thought that was definitely, uh, really funny, but, then after that, what we got was, um, we got to see all of the, um, all, all of the seniors talking, and also Rachel, Kurt, and Santana there, and they're all talking about what's going to happen to them, um, after, gra after graduation. Now, Tina's really upset because she has not gone into any of the colleges. She's, um, you know, gotten, she's not gone into any of them. She's very concerned. So, Rachel, Kurt, Santana, and Blaine, and all of them. They tell her that she can move into New York with them. Here, she faints, and she has this great, um, <laughs> I love this. She had this parody of Friends, which I never watched that show, but I know a lot of people love it. Um, definitely a show that I've seen parts of, and it is a pretty funny show. But it was called Chums, and it was basically all of them in New York. It was so funny to see, and it was so great to see, and I just, I really, really enjoyed that a lot. Just a lot of fun from that, definitely. That, that was just a lot, of, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and I, I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, so yeah, she dreams on, you know, she dreams of, um, all of them in, in, um, New York here. And we also got a, um, a clean, a clean kiss. So for those of you who wanted a clean kiss, you did get that in this episode because we got that in this scene and it was great to see that. Definitely. I definitely, uh, really enjoyed seeing that. Um, so then what happened after that? Um, I'm sorry guys, this episode, there was so much that happened in it, uh, and it was so emotional for me that I can't even remember what happened in it. Um, well, oh yeah, Blaine revealed that he got into Niata, so Blaine's going to Niata with Kurt, so they'll be, they'll be happy, um, there. And then, um, um, Kurt and Mercedes kind of have this talk with, uh, Rachel and Santana, this was actually pretty funny. Remember the whole, uh, Mercedes and Kurt tater tot thing, like, years ago? They readdressed that in this episode. Um, Kurt and Mercedes were saying how they were reminiscing about that, and they forgave each other for it, and Rachel and Santana, too, forgive each other for that. They sing I Am Changing, which I absolutely loved. I think both Mercedes and Kurt sound amazing in that song. I really loved that. It was just really, really great. And um, they didn't make up yet, although it did get Rachel emotional. She talked to Santana about it, but for some reason, Santana was not willing to listen um, so, you know, Santana basically said that, you know, she's not willing to listen to her, and she just, she's not going to. It really is, it, for some reason, she just isn't going to listen to her. 
and we don't know why, but she's not listening. Um, so what else happened? Oh yeah, we got a, um, Britannia scene with, uh, Santana and Brittany. Um, we'll get a little bit, you know, basically, uh, Brittany wanted Santana to go on, like, this gay cruise with her or whatever, but Santana wanted Brittany to do more than that because she wants Brittany to have a productive life, and she knows that's not really what Brittany wants to do, so I like seeing that. And then Holly tries to, um, oh, I, this is a, just a random scene. She does a, they do party all the time, which was, a uh, really fun. I just thought that was a really fun thing, and, um, definitely that was just, that was just a lot of fun. Party all the time, I, I really enjoyed that a lot. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then what happens, you know, then basically we see that, um, we go back to the graduates and we see, um, Tina still very upset because they have not accepted her and Blaine tells her that they will always be friends. You know, they're all losers, they're all losers together. Blaine, Sam and Artie and Tina sing loser like me. And this was the first time I was getting emotional here. I was getting emotional here because I was remembering, um, when they first sang that song and just, that was a really amazing scene. And they did, it was more amazing than I thought it was going to be, definitely. I really, really loved that scene. I thought that was uh, fantastic, definitely. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then Rachel and Santana, they finally decide to make amends. You know, they're talking, and Rachel's talking about how she is competing with Santana, but Santana tells her how she has decided to drop out of the role because she's now realized that she only did the role to compete with Rachel. And she doesn't really want this Broadway dream. It's not for her. And all those people who are like, oh, it's stupid. It wasn't for her. That's not what Santana wanted to do. So she decided to not be in the show. And um, Rachel and Santana are friends again. And they sang the song, Be Okay, which I thought they did a great job on. I, it was a lot of fun to watch them sing that song. And um, just a lot of fun, definitely. I really enjoyed um, that song. That was definitely one of my favorites of the episode was the Rachel and Santana song they did really really great um then will goes up to holly um and uh holly holly april uh, was it w april or no it was holly um will's talking to holly and basically uh, telling her how he needs to forget about the whole um you know she needs to stop trying to get glee club back and just accept that it's over and um definitely she just needs to accept that so um, he's accepting it, and she needs to as well, and I thought that scene was so emotional, I really just thought, oh, I would, the first time, definitely, I was like, oh, it's really over. Um, then after this, we see Quinn and Puck, um, singing Just Give Me a Reason, and we get their closure now, because we're, we're starting to, episode's starting to wrap up, we're starting to get everybody's closures, and their closure is basically that they have decided, you know, whatever happens, they're gonna stay together, Quinn told Puck it's not gonna be easy, but... I'm, you know, she's in love with him, and they're gonna stay together, and we get one last great insult, you know, one last great wanky thing from Santana, you know, where Santana says wanky, that was definitely great, um, I always love when Santana does that, and, um, just a lot of fun from Quinn and Puck, but then Will says that that was the last performance in Glee Club, and Glee Club is officially over, and I'm just like, no, I'm bawling at this point, if you guys saw my tweets, you know I was a wreck in this episode, you know that, um, but definitely, that was an amazing scene, and I really loved um, them seeing Just Give Me a Reason. It was very cute, and I just, I love Quinn and Puck. I'm, I, we're probably never going to see them again, but that was an amazing way to do it. And then we get the the last few scenes these epi of this episode were absolutely amazing. They were just so, so good. Um, the last few scenes, um, and the first scene that we get is we see... Um, Will, he gets this note from the Glee Club to come down to the auditorium, you know, the ex-Glee Club, and it's a video they gave to his unborn baby that's going to be born, because they're not going to be able to see his baby, and they talk about all the wonderful things he's done for them, all the things that Glee Club did for them, and all the wonderful things that this, you know, his, his son or daughter, you know, that he's going to do for his son or daughter, and that was just such an amazing scene, and everyone literally had a great line there, I thought that was definitely one of the best scenes of the episode, was definitely that scene where they made that video for his son that or daughter that they're not going to be able to see, definitely that was just so great, and then they had to do Don't Stop Believing, I did not expect them to do Don't Stop Believing yet, I was bawling at this point, I was like, no, don't do Don't Stop Believing yet, and it was so good, seriously, Don't Stop Believing was amazing, um, the way they did it was so good. They had 
everyone sing, literally. Even the newbies got to do a little part. I, I just, I absolutely loved uh, Don't Stop Believing. Was it the best they've done? I don't know, but um, was it better than the original? No, but it was definitely still so, so good, and I loved it so much. Um, Don't Stop Believing. First time, uh, you know, definitely, I, I was tearing up at this point, definitely. I was really close to tearing up. Um, and then everyone was wondering about the newbies, because they didn't really, re really weren't showing them. And it turns out that the newbies do get a goodbye very quickly, but they do get something, and I'm happy that they did get something, and not just, like, shot out of the episode. Um, Marley tells them that it's just because it's goodbye, it doesn't mean it's goodbye um, with their friendships. They're always going to remain friends, and we're basically just going to see that they're going to stay friends, they're going to keep in touch, and they're just going to be really, really great friends. The one thing I would have liked was an Artie and Kitty seeing, seeing what they were going to do, but I guess we're going to get some updates with that next week when, when Artie goes to New York next week. We'll have to see, but definitely... Uh, that was great. I was very happy they gave the newbies a goodbye. I didn't think they were going to. I thought they were going to ignore them, but they gave them a proper goodbye, and I was happy about that, definitely. Um, but the sad thing is we're never going to see these characters again. It, it's really sad um, that we're never going to see them again. However, they all were amazing, so all of them, Jake, Marley, Ryder, Kitty, and Unique, you guys are amazing, even though we're never going to see you again. And then it's time for all of them, to, for um, the seniors to graduate, and we get a much better graduation scene, in my opinion, than uh, Season 3. Season 3's was, like, rushed. Season 3 was, like, they didn't give a shit, they were just playing Glory Days. It was completely unrealistic. This one was a lot more realistic. One, they went in order with the last names. They did not do that with the last one. They randomly did it in, like, character appearance. It was weird in Season 3. Season 3 graduation was a great episode, except for the graduation sequence. That was just weird. Um... But the names were in order, and they said the names, and when Tina was called up, uh, Tina told Blaine that she can't go to New York with them because she actually, um, is, got into Brown University, so everything's gonna be fine with her, she's gonna go to Brown, and everything's gonna be great with her, so I'm very happy that Tina got into it, but we, I hope we see her again, I really hope we do, because... Tina's a great character, and I really love the focus she's got in these past few episodes. So, definitely, Jenna Uskowitz, in case we don't see you again, we all love you, and you're amazing. Um, Brittany also got to graduate because Santana decided that, you know, everyone needs to graduate at some point, so Brittany gets to graduate. And then Santana told Brittany that they're actually going to go to New York together. Um, we're not going to see them um, for a while, but they're going to go to New York together, and it's going to be really cute to see them there. So, I hope we see them next week, but I don't know if we're going to. Um... And then the final scene of the episode had me tearing up like, uh, like it was crazy. Um, also, Holly and April, they did their, they got their own little goodbye at the end of Don't Stop Believing. It was, it was kind of cute. Looks like they're going to be friends. Um, but Will and Sue got one final goodbye, and she told Will, you know, that, um, that, you know, basically they, they just had a one really nice final goodbye. You can see that... Um, Sue genuinely cares for Will, and, um, it was just a really nice goodbye. It was a really nice way for them to say goodbye and everything. And Will said he's gonna miss fighting, he's actually gonna miss fighting with her. He's really gonna miss it, and she says she will too. And just, you can see that the bond they had, even though they hated each other, they still were friends. And it was great to see that from Will and Sue, because we know that we had never liked their feuds. However, they all were friends all this time, and it was great to see um, Sue be so caring for Will, and, um, just tell him that they did an amazing job, and they're always gonna remember him. And she also tells Will that she wants him to continue being a Glee Club teacher, doing what he does best. So, who's he gonna help? Vocal Adrenaline. He's gonna coach Vocal Adrenaline, and, um, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna coach Vocal Adrenaline. And then the episode ended, I did not expect them to do this, with voiceovers of all of them talking you saw Rachel say being a part of something special makes you special, just like the first episode in the first episode of the show. You saw Finn say something. You saw all of them say something, and it was just so emotional for me. I was bawling like a I was bawling like a baby at this part because I did not expect them to do that. And um, you see Will. He goes. He he has one final moment in the choir room. It's all empty now. It's really sad, but he's all alone in the choir room. And, um, he does, like, a little dance thing. He takes a bow as, basically, a bow as in, thank you for all those years. You know, this is a bow, I bow down to the Glee Club, basically. And then he turns off the lights, and then you hear some more voiceovers, and that's it. So, Glee Club is officially over. New Directions is over. And this episode was just so amazing. It gets my highest rating, 10 out of 10. 
possibly the best episode in the entire series um, because it was just it was so perfect. There was nothing wrong with it at all, and I loved every single minute of it. So now let's get into next week. Next week we're going to be in New York. It's going to be a much different format change. Really looking forward to it, actually. I, I, I know some people aren't, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, because we're going to get to see Rachel. We're still going to see Rachel. We're still going to see Kurt. We're still going to see Blaine. Still going to see Sam. Still going to see Artie. Um, and uh, we're still going to see them. So luckily we'll be able to see them still, so that's great. At least we're going to see them. Not sure about Brittany and Santana, but I think Santana's coming back eventually, just not for a little while. Um, but this episode, again, amazing. Loved every single minute of it. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Um, who are we going to see again besides the people I just mentioned in New York? Do you think we're going to see them again? Did you like the newbies goodbye? Are we going to see them again? Um, that's it for my review. Again, again, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, Glee, just, I, I got to say one thing. This episode was just so hard for me to watch, not only because, you know, because Glee has just been a huge part of my life, all my life. And it just, even though I haven't been enjoying it in these later seasons, it still has been such a great show. And it's been such an, a big show for me. And I'm definitely going to miss seeing the new directions every single week, seeing them in the choir room every single week. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the New York change. I am. I think Mercedes is going as well, so that's going to be cool to see. Um, but that's it. From, but that's, um, that's basically it for the new directions. It's basically the end of an era now, so that's it. Um, so, yeah, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will never forget the new directions. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for um, Justified. So I will see you guys for that. Bye. And pardon me for getting teary-eyed. I'm sorry. Bye.